big things. But we've just got one more question coming through. Boring File Clerk says, what's your view of the current Pope? You know, the Pope has obviously been reaching out yeah. and has been a force of moderation in comparison to his yeah. predecessors. What do you I, make of I it? I think the Pope is fantastic. You know, I just think his tone, his humility, his, you know, I loved when he said the other day, you know, and it's, the, it's, it's our view too. We're not trying to, you know, make this a little bitty narrow thing. Anybody's welcome. We, we may not agree you know, 100% on doctrine and theology, but you know what? We're will the, the church, the Catholic Church, our church. It's open for everybody. So I like his tone, not pushing people away. But I believe God's big, and His mm. mercy is very wide. There's a. Uh you, you say here, also in that spirit of inclusiveness, it doesn't matter who likes you or who doesn't like you. I like that. All that matters is God likes you. He accepts you. He approves of you. Is that true for? Ever, is that true for homosexuals? Absolutely. I believe that God's breathed His life into every single person. We're all on a journey. Nobody's perfect. You know. You, you know. The Bible says that sin is uh, a sin is pride. A sin is selfish ambition. I mean, there's a lot. We tend to pick out these certain things, but I believe every person's made in the image of God. You know, and you got to accept them as they are, as they're on their journey. Again, that the, the Scripture teaches. The way people are going to know his disciples is, is by our love for one another. And so I'm not here, you know, preaching hate, pushing people down, telling, I'm not here to tell everybody what they're doing wrong. I'm just... What would your prescription be, I suppose, for culture and society? Are you optimistic or, or pessimistic? I mean, thinking about social media, about the pace of life, about how busy people are, about yeah. how financially stressed they are. You yeah. look at the government shutdown and the yeah. gridlock in Washington. Uh, is this a good time or a, or a bad time? And what can we yeah. do? You know, it's, there's a lot these days. It seems like it's gotten worse over the last... 10 years, I've been doing this for 14 years, you know, it seems like there's more pushing people down these days. But on the other hand, you know, I believe it's, I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm nat nat naturally a optimistic person. But I believe that, you know, you get up each day and you see it as a gift and you look at what's right. Again, one of my chapters is about perspective. I mean, a lot of it is what we focus on. I mean, you can have a small problem. And, you know, I, I don't mean to minimize anything, but whatever you focus on gets bigger. So you can focus on what somebody said about you or on, you know, I didn't get a great medical report. Or you can focus on the fact of all the good things in life. And I think that changes your, your attitude, your perspective. So I think you can be optimistic even in a difficult time.